After yesterday's trip to Salvation Mountain in the Salton Sea and then back to this campsite where I'm at between Ehrenberg and Quartzsite, right at the base of these mountains, I did too much and I knew I did. Um, I went to sleep right at dark and it's, I don't, I think it's almost noon local time now, so I, uh, what, uh, 16 hours, but that, you know, that's the way that I have to operate. If I push beyond my limits and I usually have to spend a long time and sometimes more than one day. And I think I would actually like to stay here even, even another day or two because this is isolated and I'm all alone and it's a great area as far as scenery. Just look at this. Uh, here too and uh, some of you will say yeah but the humidity is low yes I agree but still 90 degrees is warm and um, oh, I still got plenty of supplies so I could stay you know this this is breakfast today uh, nacho cheese flavored bugles I guess it's like eating cereal but I'm thinking I'm gonna push north and back toward Interstate 40 so that I can get a running shot towards home. Tomorrow is the election and I have, there are two major cities on I-40 that I would have to go through. One is Albuquerque, which is New Mexico and New Mexico is a democratic state and then the other is Oklahoma City which is I guess more conservative but still if Donald Trump wins they rioted in 2016 and now the idiots are you know they're they're primed to go again and if uh, Joe Biden wins I don't think there will be any major major issues hopefully until after he takes office and then that's when uh, when uh, difficulties may uh, may begin but I'm not going to get into the politics on, on this uh, this I'm just looking at possible realities because uh, I'm 2,000 miles away from home and uh, uh, it took me two weeks to get out here the way I have to travel and uh, I'm going to start back today more than likely and if I, the fatigue won't let me go I'm still I'm about 15 miles I think from Quartzsite across out of those mountains but um, um, there's all kinds of opportunities though if I can't go very far and then I'm going to go north from Quartzsite up towards Parker and Lake Havasu City and then hit Interstate 40 and just west of Flagstaff, and then I'll I'll be headed back home. Here's the bend, and this is where I'm parked at the base of these mountains. And you know, I'm thinking as as secluded this as this place is, and with the rolling topography, and he's sort of a natural amphitheater. I might have the characters to visit Salvation Mountain since that's been the plan for the novel all all along all along. But may have them be just as unimpressed with it as I was or with Slab City, Slab City as I was. And I might have them be to retreat to this area. Where the uh, where the resolution of the novel might take place. Hmm. 
we have the hills where we could have the crowds gather. And I've, I've resisted all along saying that it's going to be an, would be an analogy of the Sermon on the Mount because I don't think the sermon's actually going to be ever be given the reluctant sermon because the uh, main character, as he's proclaimed all along, he's not uh, he's not a preacher. And you don't know why anybody wants to hear from him. But. Hmm. I have 2,000 miles to think about it. But if I bring them back here. We've got plenty of free uh, land for people to camp on. And gather. And work towards the re resolution of the. Uh, of the novel. Of the story rocks that these mountains are made out, out, of, out of, there's the van, is some kind of, looks like some kind of metamorphic rock that tilted on its side and back a ways and the road is just deteriorating more and more so I think we probably brought the van as far as we need I don't know if you can tell but that's a that's a fairly steep little hill to get back up there I'll probably be ready for a nap when I get there well, there may be no humidity out here but after that walk, <laughs> I'm sweating like, whew. We got the hat band completely, completely saturated. Ugh, I'll have to wear the hat now for a couple hours, let it dry out so that it doesn't shrink. Whew, that's a disc torture. Let's, uh, let's get in the van, get the air conditioning going. If it, ooh boy. If it's this hot in the uh, in the uh, low to mid 90s out here without humidity, humidity. Oh, look at the red face! I can only imagine what it's like. What it's like when it gets into the hundreds and hundred and teens and hundred and twenty out here. Ooh. <clears throat> well, they say the desert. They, for, there's a reason they say the desert's hot even here in November, so. Mm. Goodness. I look like a sunburn. Mm. Mm. Sorry about that. <sighs> cool off from the outside and the inside. I just noted toward, towards the bottom of the, uh, of the photo, there's actually a little trail along the base of that mountain over there. Of course, right off in front of the van is a steep drop down to the dry riverbed or arroyo or runoff, whatever they call it. But that trail, you can actually see it pretty good, I think goes sort of to the left and it starts up. <clears throat> so it's the other side of that. There are mountain, there are bighorn sheep in this area because I haven't seen any. I just wonder if that might be one of their regular, uh, regular uh, routes they take. So if there are and somebody back home gets a, uh, gets a permit, you can come right here and sit in the van and uh, when you use it as your uh, blind and one of the one of the big orange sheep or whatever uses that trail comes along uh, and there you go. <sighs> but from the shows I've watched and been hunting out here, the, most of the fun is climbing up and down those uh, mountain rocks over there and being quiet and hiding and trying to go from 20 miles away to within a shot shooting distance of the animal. So that might not be too appealing either. Just, just to come here and sit and say you've done it. 
Here we're heading back out from the campsite between Ehrenberg and Portsite. There's plenty, there are plenty of places out here for people to uh, to uh, park their RVs and camp. Of course, back in this section, we've got some street, steep little ravines. <laughs> and where I went to camp, this is the worst one. That, yeah. Well, we made it down. <laughs> and welcome to the other side. Hmm. Off to the right uh, is some uh, outwash from the mountains, the gravel. I would love to pick through that, but it's so hot out there, I better not right now. This is coming back into Quartzite from the California side, from Ehrenberg. We're climbing the mountains. And when we get through the pass, we should be able to see see Quartzite. All right, I stopped here at this uh, this. Uh, I guess it's a flea market. Um, um, that must be open most all the time. The big tent show in takes place uh, right out here, right across the road, I think, and this big lot is empty, but it looks like these people are set up for the, for the um, duration, and uh, I bought a few things, we'll, we'll do a, uh, a haul after a while, and Amanda and Ashley can give me, uh, try to critique me. I think the big tent show takes place right over there. Or maybe it's off the left, I don't know. Anyway, they set up a big big tent and have vendors inside that is called the Quartzite RV, vaca RV Vacation and Boat Show or something. I don't know. But then they also have lots of uh, rock shows and gym, mineral and gym shows and the winter is the hoppy time out here because the snowbirds flock in here for the for the uh, warm temperatures in the daytime. Uh, but right now, on November the first, is way too hot. Uh, they they have talked about being low humidity, but it's certainly not here today because everybody. I, well, I'm sweating, and some of the vendors I talked to said that. Uh, Last week they had their their uh, their fall fall season and now it's back to summer. But anyway, we're going to head up the road to a place called Parker, about 35 miles away. We are here, and there are a few vans and RVs and all kinds of stuff here. It's in the shade. I don't Turn left. Necessarily need the shade. I need the sun on the solar panels. I'm already full, but anyway, we'll drive around and you can see who's parked here. There's a You've arrived. Class Destination class is on your right. Be in the class A. And truck camper, we don't know if he's. Uh, uh oh, it's a Tuxedo. 